The Brits are huge fans of funny man Michael McIntyre, and now Australia is getting the chance to see what all the fuss is about. You get out of the morning, every single person is reading the Metro. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> Why doesn't one person just read it to the carriage? <laughs> Actually, huge fans is grossly underselling him. Known for his personable warm style of comedy, in the UK his first DVD sold faster than any debut stand-up title ever, eclipsed only by his next one, Hello Wembley. They close. Boom! He took the hit. No one can believe it. He took the hit. He's appeared on Britain's Got Talent. Michael McIntyre makes me laugh. Plus, he's sold out 10 nights at London's O2 Arena, a record he shares only with Rihanna. And he didn't even need to get a serious boob tattoo or act kind of trampy, at least that we know about. Please welcome Michael Wackenside. Telling those people you have no idea who I am to clap like that. They all, because I walked in and nobody turned around or anything, and he had to whisper to who I was. Why were you showing Rihanna on the VT? <laughs> we, we were pointing out that you had had similar mm. to success to Rihanna. Oh, and... right, but I'm not Rihanna. I'm no, no, not. I, that was she clear. Looks... If you'd listened to the package, that was oh, no, absolutely clear. I, I clear. couldn't. I, was, I, was, I listened to the previous You were package. too busy talking so over it saying why Rihanna's breath. We need to show some new. Into. We need yes. to show So before you drive, you yes. can do your own Yes, Yes, absolutely. That's fantastic. The clue was when he went, holy vodka. <laughs> I thought was... You don't seem to say holy vodka if you haven't had a drink or if you're teetotal. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yes, here we are. You all look so so cool. I, I've you. been watching so much television come jet lagged. All I do is watch TV. And I've got very into the Aussie rules all through the oh, night. Oh, yeah, great. But I didn't know it had finished. I, no, I didn't it's... know it was recorded. Yes, I've been watching Fox all night. I love all that stuff. You should it's call so Dave because you watch replays in the middle of the night. Yes, absolutely. Let's well, hang out. I'll yeah. call you, Fusey. I can't wait. I want to be called by you. <laughs> I feel like I should move around in this. Why, why are that? you restricting me? Oh my what god, I thought this show was on lib. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> nothing but my talent. What is all this? Hi, so, so you two are doing all right. How's it going here? Because I really, really I've just, really just sort of arrived. This is what people say to each other is, is, is how are you going? Because yes. I've never heard of this. Because yeah. obviously I'm used to uh, how are you. Yes. Um, and well, I just in, in, England, in England people say, you're right. You, you're that's, right. As, no, they, that's as much as you can they aspire tell you, to. They answer the question for you. <laughs> right. They go, you're all right. So oh, then, so, so so then you don't done. have to talk anymore. It's absolutely done. <laughs> this morning, I, I'm in the airport, and I've never really heard this, because I've just been new to the country, and I'm, I'm, I'm checking in, and I mm. said, I'm here to fly to, to Melbourne. And she said, how are you going? I'm like, well, I thought aeroplane was the best. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of clues around you. You've just come from Perth and Adelaide. Sorry? Yeah. You've just come from You're Perth gorgeous. and Adelaide. I'm coming over there. <laughs> I'm Get doing my up. best. Give me a chair. Can I ask chair. you a question while you're coming? How was Perth and Adelaide? Sorry? How was Perth and oh, Adelaide? I had to, <laughs> Perth, well, Perth was amazing because it's nowhere near any other city. There's nothing else there. They I'm all, from Perth. There's, so there's no rivalry at all and they're so, they're so laid back. I mean, it's very, 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 oh, very, like very nice. Who is this bloke? And welcoming. Yeah. Right, what are you selling? Are you selling? Did you really make it? Who are you? Who are you? Who the hell are you? Who are you? Are you her dad? Who are you? <laughs> Is that what goes? Oh, he's turned on me. He's turned on me. I'm coming back. Oh, Jesus back. Christ. He's made him... <laughs> You really make $35 million last year. What? what? what they we didn't pay me in dollars. <laughs> was that Rihanna, what she made? Uh, yeah, no, no, well, all my, everything is about Rihanna. You, you, sold, you sold almost the I mean, same as the Rolling Stones last does. year, your tours. And, and the difference well. between you and them is they have to share it. You yes. know, the difference between England and Australia is nobody has any idea who I am. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's well, really I'm, I'm going to say, the last time I saw you, it was backstage at the Comedy Store in London, okay. and you were nervous. Yes. about going on and doing the Royal Command performance for the oh, Queen. Right. How'd the gig go? Well, it went quite well. Yeah, yeah. it worked out it went well. well. Charlie Clancy uh, so gave that, you... That was, that was my big break, Charlie. Charlie really? Clancy gave you advice. Yeah, that was in 2006. Yeah. Oh, yes, I performed for... I, I've actually performed... Whatever I said must have worked. The, <laughs> the Queen wasn't there because they alternate with, um, with Prince Charles, who does the hokey... Oh, right. The hokey, 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 hokey. Do a good job. Yeah, you call it the hokey pokey. <laughs> what do you, you call it? The hokey cokey. It is. That's ridiculous. No, it's called the Hokey Cokey. No, it's oh, called I the don't think pokey. so. No, you've called it the Hokey Pokey. But we invented <laughs> the Hokey Pokey, and then it's got no, it's got lost in translation. But you're poking when you're going in. You're not. Going you're right. You're right. 
these girls have been So bad. I've had Prince Charles, mm. he, he, yes. they alternate with the Queen. So I've performed it, now I've done it three times, but I've always had Prince Charles there, so... You so know. And you meet, you meet him afterwards when you do that? I've met, actually met him quite a lot of times. I did his birthday party. Um, but then the last <laughs> time I saw him, I did this, it was a charity... Um, Thing for the Prince's Trust. The Prince's Trust is a charity. It's a wonderful charity where they basically take people who have fallen on terrible times and give them a second <laughs> chance and build, nice. them, build them back up. Yep. And he went along the line, and the line consisted of um, big stars, um, you know, Cheryl Cole, I forget who was there, but big, huge celebrities. And I was hosting the thing, and in between us with people, former drug addicts and, and uh, you know, the thieves, whose <laughs> lives have been turned around. <laughs> and he thought I was one of them. <laughs> He actually sort of said, oh, how are things going for you now? <laughs> I was like, well, they're going quite well. I, you know, I do comedy. <laughs> he said, it's good to have a hobby. It's not a hobby. <laughs> I'm hosting this show. Well, it's definitely not a hobby. Uh, Michael uh, is, hands down, one of the funniest comedians in the world. He's very currently kind. touring You're the country. Very, nice details for the two nice. You're very website. angry. You're a very angry man. <laughs> very astute. Very astute. Would you please thank Michael McIntyre? Oh,